Carolina Governor Roy Cooper and the leader of the state's largest teachers union calling for more accountability in the school voucher program. This comes weeks after WBTV told you about a Union County pastor connected to a private school who delivered a sermon justifying rape. In that sermon last August that came to light in February, Bible Baptist Tabernacle Pastor Bobby Leonard decried women who wear shorts instead of pants or dresses. You find more women go in those places with shorts. I said, if, if you dress like that and you get raped and I'm on the jury, he's going to go free. I, I can't help you like I'm right. Because, you know, a man's a man. Now, those comments led to protests outside of the church and a lot of people commenting on social media. Mary Calkins live with the connection to a private school that's gotten a lot of taxpayer money. Mary? That's exactly right, Alex. Tabernacle Christian School has gotten nearly $1.5 million in taxpayer funding over the last two school years. And while Pastor Bobby Leonard has since apologized for those comments, many say they should not be getting government money. Now in the 2022 to 2023 school year, Tabernacle received more than $923,000 in vouchers for 152 students. In 2021 to 22 school year, received more than $550,000 for 133 students students and all that adds up to nearly 1.5 million dollars in just the past two years. In a video posted on X, Governor Roy Cooper called out Tabernacle Christian School as one who got money through the school voucher program that lawmakers expanded this year. Most of the students at Tabernacle Christian get vouchers averaging more than $6,000 a year, one of the highest averages in the state. And like many private schools, it links directly to the application page for vouchers on its website. A longtime critic of school vouchers, North Carolina Association of Educators President Tamika Walker Kelly pointed out there is zero government oversight in North Carolina of what schools receiving taxpayer money are teaching students or how those students perform. We will continue to raise the point that until our public schools are fully funded, that we should not be diverting money from them in order to fund schools that hold these types of beliefs. We believe that lawmakers should institute lots of means of accountability for public dollars being used by these private institutions. Right now, funding for the Opportunity Scholarships is at nearly half a billion dollars per year. And at the same time, North Carolina public schools, they are ranked fourth worst in the country for how much the state spends on each individual student. Reporting live in Charlotte, Mary Calkins, WBTV, on your side.